just in case you couldn't tell, it is the Christmas season. I've got my Christmas tree, I'm ready. You saw the stores already have all of their Christmas decorations up and ready to go. I'm pretty sure most of the stores have had their decorations up since October, which is like crazy to me. But one of my favorite things about this season are the words that people choose to use. Some of the words that people use are love, and hope and faith and joy. Those are all words that we use a lot and are sung in a lot of the songs during the season. Um, and it's just neat. And so today we're gonna take the time to define the word hope. Maybe you've felt hope before. Maybe you've even, even used the word, like I hope before in a sentence, or you know what that feeling is of being hopeful. But if I asked you to define it, you might struggle a little bit with defining the word hope. And that's what we're gonna do today. Now, some people use the word hope and wish interchangeably, like with my Christmas tree here, my beautiful tree is missing something. It's missing all of the decorations. So I can stand here and I could wish that my decorations were on the tree. Okay, you guys ready? I wish all of the decorations were on my tree. Yeah, no, not gonna, not gonna happen, right? Wishing doesn't change the outcome of something. I could stand here and I could wish all day long for my tree to be decorated, it's not gonna happen, right? Something has to happen instead. Hope, hoping for something is a call to action. I hope my Christmas tree gets decorated before the end of the day. That's putting a deadline on it. And I'm gonna have to take some steps for it. So, you guys gonna help me out? We're gonna go grab decorations. We're gonna decorate this tree because that's what hope is. It's a call to action. And in Romans 15, if you guys would join me, Paul actually writes to the church and he tells us that our hope is in God. So join me in Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of Holy Spirit. Okay, so he's telling us right here that he is the God. God is the God of hope. And if he's full of hope, he's also full of action, but also he wants us to be overflowing with that. So as we have, you know, this future, these goals in mind, like decorating a Christmas tree, maybe going to college one day, becoming a mechanic, whatever you're hoping to become or do with your life, there has to be some action behind it. Okay, we can't just sit there and wish and think all day long. You could but nothing's going to happen. Let's put our hope into action. Let's go grab the decorations, ready? Go! Guys, my tree is all decorated. What do you guys think? We did it. We had a goal in mind. My goal is that we get it decorated today, and we did. My hope was put into action. When we have these goals, we have these promises in our lives, we have to take some sort of action. So I'm challenging you guys, what has God called you to that maybe you feel like, oh, I'm never gonna get there. What actions are you taking? What process are you doing right now that will get you to that end goal? You can do it guys. We'll be back next time to talk more about hope in action. See you guys, bye.